Hello and welcome back to the Dusty Desert Park where last time we um, actually made it a little bit less dusty and perhaps a little bit more muddy with an actual water uh, coaster. Which I think uh, in this watery park should be just like, well, you know, uh, <laughs> bullseye, <laughs> heads on, <laughs> center of the target, main prize. Oh yeah, and look at the gas, they're coming in flocks, you know, in herds, they're coming to the park. So, gets working out. Now, as for what we need to do, um, I do believe that the goals are uh, to finish the five coasters with an excitement rating of seven, and we want to start with this one, and we only have 5,748 euro bucks 60. Not enough, but what I totally did forgot to do um, last time is uh, check the fi- Oh, yeah. yeah, I was about to say, like, check the finances and see if we can take out some loan. <laughs> but here I see 20,000, so it's not gonna work. So we actually do need to generate some cash. Now, what we can do to actually generate some cash is um, get some scenery. And I don't really know which hotkey was some scenery. Ah, there I have it. <laughs> So, let's get a few more um, palm trees in, alongside uh, some of the paths, you know? Just to make it look a little bit nicer. Let's see, I mean, I, I don't think it would be a bad idea over here to have like a few palm trees. <laughs> if we can fit them, that is. And over here, maybe. I know it's a desert, and I know it's not supposed to be very tree-heavy, but just a few here and there, you know? They also don't need to be nice ones. I think that these ones and these ones we should leave out for the water side. So that actually does mean that we can build a few. <laughs> build! <laughs> we built the trees, we do not grow them. <laughs> uh, no, but we can uh, add a few here and there. Now, I would also like to have maybe a few big Egyptian monument things. Like, how about if we add the Sphinx over here? I think that would be cool, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And let's see. Over here we also have like this empty space that we're probably not going to do anything with. So, how about it if we just change the direction? of the thing and do it like this. So they're like right on opposite of each other, huh? That's cool. And then maybe a temple over here, look. We don't need to go overboard with it, you know, just a few things here and there. How, how about it if we add like a, um, a line of uh, pillars, like right over here. As if there was a, a structure at some point uh, doing something over there. Uh, also, <laughs> you know what I just realized looking at this? That the only way to fix this is to come at it from underground. Because <laughs> what I should have done here is keep a little bit more space for, uh, <laughs> for the coaster, the red one. Anyway, um, we'll worry uh, about that when the time comes. What we do need to do is uh, lower the price here. Why? Because we need more money. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> um, also, uh, I think what I want to do is check if we have any vandalism. Best way to do that, of course, is like this. And let's just have a quick look around. See if we see anything broken or anything destroyed. It doesn't look like it. So then it's probably just uh, the fact that our park is doing great. Now, as for the wooden roller coaster, I have like a um, like a target. I think of like wow, well, eight thousand. So what we should probably do, you know, and that, and that is cash that we need on hand to actually start building uh, the wooden coaster. So what I want to do is maybe add like a gentle ride over here, you know, just to balance things out a little bit. Uh, we don't really have much choice in the matter. So we're going to build the crooked house, <laughs> the greatest of them all. Well, not really, but whatever. Um, yeah, 
let's let's uh, where shall we actually put this? I mean, in the end, you know, if we are uh, having a look at the park uh, zoomed out. Basically, I want to expand the path all the way up to there, so this will move on. So, if I were just to add it, like, I don't know, over here, perhaps. I kind of dislike it being floating. Uh, so, you know what, we'll actually build this on the other side here. I mean, <laughs> you know, we were just placing scenery, but trust me, that one cactus I did not place. <laughs> Right, and then the entrance, it won't be that long, so we'll have it over here, we'll do that over there. Now, as for this house, I think it looks stupid to have a canvas tent style thing over there. So, I think we should go with the wooden, <laughs> that at least, you know, fits the theming better, even though this is a desert park. And, <laughs> of course, we have to adhere to style and stuff, but, yeah, well... Um, it's, uh, I think I think this looks better. Also, I don't really want to be. I mean, you know, just just for us, you know, if we have to go left or right. Yeah, now we need to we need to go around the house over here. So uh, let's zoom in and uh, let me have a look at how we are going to do this. I think we should just build the queue and then build the path around it. Because I don't really want to be crossing the ravine over there, you know. I think that's not gonna be as good for the finances as I'd want it to be. And then this is basically the route that we'll be taking. So now all we need to do is get like a new handy dude associated with this area. There you go. I mean, we, the rest we basically got covered already. So <laughs> before we open this Crooker house, we'll just add, we'll add another, I believe it was four Euro bucks <laughs> to the price. I mean, have the broken mirrors be fixed every 10 minutes and you can be open. Now we also don't really have music over here. <laughs> Shall we have the Crooker mansion with uh, music? How about we do... Mm. <laughs> I don't know. We'll do summer style because in the desert it is eternally summer. We shall call this... Um, uh, the Broken Reflection. Oh yeah, fancy naming. <laughs> this time not from Path of Exile. But yeah, you're gonna see those references, uh, oh, uh, you know, I mean, for those who have played this game, <laughs> that game, <laughs> the Mirror of Calandra, <laughs> you can find it right there. <laughs> All right, uh, now we also do need some, uh, some benches and, you know, the regular stuff. Oh. Crap, <laughs> that's actually a bad thing to do, you know. Leave the uh, path building tool open as uh, it does allow guests to actually uh, get off the path. <laughs> we don't want that, of course. So, there we go. The mirror of Calandra. Nothing to paint over there. So, yeah, it's all done. It's all good. Now, look at our money go. So, we have eight and a half thousand in the time that we uh, only placed uh, one of the uh, mirror houses and that's it. So, I think that our finances are just bonkers, you know. Um, we are good enough, I feel, to actually uh, build uh, the wooden coaster with an excitement rating of seven. And, oh yeah, there is a small queue over there and, oh yeah, they're also queuing over here. And a little over here. See, the thing is, though, we are developing this part of the park right now heavily. And um, basically what that leads to is that uh, the guests are going to be moving over here less and less. So, at some point, you know, once we have finished these coasters, um, we'll switch it over to this side and have it, like, develop evenly. Now, I do... I do feel like this area of the park will use for... Uh, 
um, the purple coaster, you know, this bit. And then <laughs> there is lots of room for wherever else <laughs> we want to go, basically. Um, okay, so the back to this uh, white wooden coaster. Now, yeah, I mean, I guess we should just build it. I mean, <laughs> that's all we can do, basically. Also, you have not been inspected in like a long, 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 long time. <laughs> yeah, last one. Uh, 93 minutes you know before we built any of it how about we just hook things up over here how about that <laughs> i think that wouldn't be such a bad idea seeing the state of things um let's see how how is this gonna run um ideally i'd have it I'd have it hook up with this exit, so we should consider doing something like this. And then this one should be able to just uh, connect to it. Yeah, I think I think this will work out. And then um, there. Yeah, perfect. Just like that. And we'll quickly add a sign to this one with the no entry okay there is a, <laughs> there is one of our loose mechanics going towards uh, this coaster to inspect it like straight away so now that we've done this uh, let's actually uh, continue uh, building this and finish it with like a uh, uh, yeah 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 of course right of course <laughs> I want to do the hoisting trick <laughs> but I'm not allowed <laughs> Anyway, let's um, let's actually finish this uh, coaster right now. And as we said from the get-go, we are gonna build this over here in this area. So let's see that we actually uh, get to that. Now, of course, we could go up really high, but I don't think our money is that good that we are able to do that like straight away. So we can do this though. It's not going to be that fast. Um, let's see what we can what, what we can get away with here. Basically, <laughs> we we give them like a big bump over here. Now, of course, we want the on-ride photo section and it does not have the water splash. Really? It does not have the water splash, but I have it on this one. Just hold on a second. What type of roller coaster is this exactly? I mean, this is like the wooden roller coaster, right? It doesn't really say anything about what it is. Articulated roller coaster train. It also looks different from. A train that we have running over here. Huh, let's see. Is this actually not the wooden roller coaster? This is actually the wooden twister coaster. Huh, okay. Now, that changes things. That definitely changes things. <laughs> We're gonna go up higher with this one. <laughs> of course we are. Look, because you know what this one can actually do? There you go. It can have like a sheer vertical drop, basically. How cool is that? This I like. Uh, we don't actually need to go straight, straight away. Uh, we also don't really want to interfere with the path too much over there. But what we can do is... Um, maybe something like this. And then, I don't know how the speed will be, <laughs> so... Oh, you, but you know what? This is, of course, the perfect moment for an on-ride photo section. So, uh, then we'll go up. And then we will make... Mm, no, that was the wrong, uh, the wrong one. And then we will make the twist. Then we will do the lift, just to be sure. Look, and now we are already in a position to uh, go, like, right over here. 
And uh, we can get to the area that we actually want this thing uh, to live in, or be in, or be at, or... Look how, look how cool this is gonna be. And then it's gonna go up, but now it's like, you know, it's ba basically, it, the guests can actually see the car. Oh yeah, hello. <laughs> Us with our scenery, you know. <laughs> but now the guests can actually basically see the car. Actually, basically, oh man, <laughs> my English is degrading. <laughs> anyway, the guests can see the car actually pass through. How, how, how cool is that? They can almost reach out hands and give high fives <laughs> if, they will, if they so desire. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think this is uh, lo looking looking good so far. Uh, I also really feel like uh, we should get this one underground, but it does not need to happen like straight away. Also, I do believe that we can go with like this mellow turn here. Uh, uh, we had it, it actually goes up, so that's not gonna work out. But we do pass like right above the red coaster that's also in this area. Now, as for ups and downs, we, we, we don't really have a helix over here, but how cool would it be if we were to... Um, maybe do something like this and then helix down large. Is that actually cool? I mean, it does kind of look cool, right? <laughs> does it look cool? Yeah, it does look cool. Basically, we have like something of the same structure like we have over there, basically. Now, the speed at which it will be here, um, I don't think we should really go that much higher than uh, maybe 20 or something. So. That basically means like yeah, this is perfect. But what we that what we can then do is um, go down into the underground. Now I know that the other coaster is there, so we'll have to be very careful and all that. But well, you know, we can do it. So why not, right? Look, and that. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Maybe we we should go down just a little bit more. Okay, and then we do like another helix down large. Um, it is also about that time that our money starts becoming an issue. So how about it if we actually go up already over here? Uh, ju just just to this small uh, underground area that we just have here, nothing more. Now where is my build square? Ah, there it is. Right. Okay, I believe that if we do just this, and then it will work out. Nice, and now we're actually at ground level. You know what we are gonna do? We are, we are not gonna go back to the station like uh, straight away. Uh, we are gonna just circle around here. Just to, because I said like I wanted to build the coaster over here, and if, if, if now the track design does not go over here, <laughs> I cannot sell this to myself, <laughs> it's not gonna work out. So, helix up large, and then... Uh, maybe, because we actually need to hook this up all the way over there. So, but what I think we should do is uh, go up not that high just just a smidge and then uh with a few ups and ups and downs how cool would it be if we were to oh yeah oh yeah i have an idea i actually hope it will make it uh, i'm not entirely sure about it uh, we'll, we'll see we need to line this up like really perfectly so we need to go one more Actually, if we do that, then we can what we can actually do is this. And I believe, yeah, this, yeah, okay, okay, perfect, perfect. Still height 17. I'm not sure if uh, we will make it speed-wise, but, you know, the <laughs> worst thing that will happen is uh, we might need to add a lift over here. Look at this. 
and then we lift it and yeah now I don't I don't need this uh, to go this high <laughs> but we also cannot go just flat and then lift it so <laughs> that's also not gonna work out uh, yeah no <laughs> that's also definitely not gonna work out this will though shall we go in the ground again and through our own oh yeah we are Definitely, are we going to do this? Look at that. Wow. <laughs> to be honest, um, I'm quite impressed, you know, with the track design that we're uh, making over here. Yeah, no, we, I, I don't think we should raise the speeds that high. <laughs> he says, clicking uh, down on quite a few uh, pieces of track over there. Uh, basically, I think it, I think I think it is time that we line it up for um, you know to reconnect with uh, with the station. So, so I, I, I'm also you know with one eye uh, looking looking at the cash that we have. <laughs> so you know it's it's that and yeah I also I also think it's time you know I think the coaster track is good and we have it nice and finished. Or at least, <laughs> almost, <laughs> we still actually need to get there. Now, I do believe that the path... Um, uh, well, oh man, <laughs> this is looking so bad. <laughs> yeah, the path is actually a height 12, so we need to go like one higher. Oh wow, well, hear the music by the way. <laughs> Shall I sing along? <laughs> I think it's in the best interest for everybody else, <laughs> but I don't. <laughs> uh, and then... Oh, the roller coaster is in the way. Okay, okay. Fair enough. So, how am I supposed to... Oh, <laughs> I'm actually one off. Yeah, okay, okay. That's easy to fix, though. Uh, I thought I was actually lined up, but uh, turns out I was not. With the path, though, this might present itself as an issue. Raise or lower the land. How is that lined up, then? Is it actually... No, it seems to be just straight, but... Alright. Alright, let's just uh, try and approach this from the other side. So that's just not gonna work out. Uh, neither is that. So this actually needs this approach. This is like the only way to get this working. I don't even know if we have the speed for this. There's only one way to find out, really, and <laughs> that is just to try it out. <laughs> so, basically, we need to hoist it, which we will. And then hoist it again. And now we are at, like, uh, heights. No, 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 no. Now we are at height uh, 19, so now we should be good to line ourselves up for... Ba basically, this is all we can need to do. And that's it, actually. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I am quite curious to uh, how this thing is going to run. Wow, look at that. We actually got an award for being the best value park as well. <laughs> look at that. And that's with me having taken a break for like, uh, how long? <laughs> I are amazing. Um, oh wow, and they are also still going into this tower. And that's also quite a good sign. Right, <clears throat> so he here, here, it, here it goes, right? Shall we leave the support zone for the view? You know what? Why not? That's actually rather quick. The way it passes through there. 
I mean, 60, 50 kilometers, that's actually rather quick. 70 as well. That did look quite good. And now it is over here. In terms of speed, look, that, now that's, that's how, uh, how we want to see it. And I believe here, yeah, it won't make it. It might not be that bad, but I do believe that the uh, first drop and then over here, <laughs> this does go rather quickly. This might make it very intense, but I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to see. Uh, also, we can only have two trains. Right, you know what? Whilst the ratings are uh, underway, what we're going to do is um, we're going to hook up the queue. Assuming that the coaster is good, uh, we will need quite the big queue for this one. Because uh, <laughs> this coaster has a high uh, pro <laughs> gas processing speed. <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> uh, so what we could actually do is lead it all the... No, actually I, well, I won't. I will, I will keep it like this long. Even though I think it is a little bit too short. Oh wow, look at that, 8.18, that's actually rather good. I, I vaguely recall um, in the past having said something about grand coasters and all that stuff. Now, <laughs> I don't even know what grand means. I, I recall building a 12 in the rating coaster, I mean, that I recall. But I don't really know what the, what the benchmark is for grand. But if it is an 8, well, this passes, and it wasn't even that crazy, right? So, uh, yeah, no, very good. I don't really know if uh, this might be too intense for most of the guests, but uh, we'll have to see. Now, we have opened it up, and what we now need to do is, um, first of all, close the data off, and then let's get some benches and dedicated uh, handy dudes and all that stuff over here. Uh, and mechanics as well, because <laughs> without them, yeah, we're gonna be in a lot of trouble if the thing crashes. Well, actually, we won't be. You know why? <laughs> there are no failure conditions in this park, so we would actually not really be in that much trouble, but... Oh well, it's better to not kill off the guests than it is to kill them off, so, uh, you know, living, going by that one, uh, we shall keep them alive. Also, uh, I do think that over here it would not be a bad idea to uh, build like a shops and stall uh, thingy um, in the form of a drink stall, because the last one is actually rather far away, so a little bit like that. And uh, there we are. I mean, I think that we quite successfully completed the first one. Let's just give it a, uh, <laughs> a proper name uh, <laughs> and coloring, right? I mean, this is the white coaster, and yeah, the one that we set out to finish first. But if we just zoom out a little bit and take a look at the rest of the park, <laughs> I think this is the odd duck in, <laughs> in the pond, you know? <laughs> we need to adjust this. Um, how about about it. Uh, first of all, the white supports have to go, and we cannot have them. Uh, uh, and this, this also. Ooh. Actually, with the black uh, station or the black uh, tarmac that we use in this park, it is actually not that bad, if you ask me. Personally, I think this doesn't look so shabby. I think the park can handle this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, wa I was contemplating it for a little bit, but uh, yeah. Uh, that looks a little bit too toxic uh, to my likings. Ooh, black and gold, the classic color combination. With the yellow on it, you know, as there needs to be yellow. Let's zoom in a little and... You know what, guys? I I probably have done this in the past, like, uh, I don't know how many times. But if I'm honest, <laughs> I actually really like the color combination that we have going here. Uh, we shall go with uh, orange and perhaps a tad of red. 
red velvet or maybe purple. No, red velvet. I mean, I've probably done this color combination a few times now, but man, does it look sexy, right? So uh, we shall then name this one. Um, how about we? Uh, yeah, how how about we name this? Um, oh, hold hold on a second. Hold on a second. The eggheads have gone bonkers. There are no more uh, thrill rides. You know what that means, right? We need roller coasters. <laughs> there is no denying it. Um, anyway, um, what we need to... Uh, we are going to name this uh, the Sun Arena. Yeah. Only for those who also played that game uh, when I was playing. Yo, Path of Hex Hal. <laughs> the, only for them this... Uh, you know, this name will say anything, but uh, yeah, there you have it, you know, another coaster uh, finished. One of the goals, actually, that we have to do. And uh, to be fair, you know, I'm not really sure which one we shall uh, pick next. Um, I mean, this one... Uh, let, let's quickly see. <laughs> I, I kind of want to say, like, let's, let's take a look at that next time. But you know what? Let's not. Let's just quickly have a look. Because I do believe that this coaster over here, we can we can see it by the trains. This is the hanging one, if I'm not mistaken, or the inverted roller coaster. Looking at the looking at the trains and where the where the dudes <laughs> and the dudettes <laughs> sit. That's the train. Uh, then we have, I believe, the flying coaster over here. Sure looks like it. Sure looks like it. And then what? Or this is the flying coaster. But then, what kind of train do you have? No, you you are definitely the suspended looping coaster. Are you? It's kind of hard to tell them apart, really. <laughs> I probably would have been able to do that quite easily in the past, but I don't know. I do know that we do have like uh, the inverted coaster. That's this one. That's pretty uh, pretty obvious. But for the rest, <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I don't know. But the inverted uh, roller coaster isn't really that cheap. I mean, if you take a look at the costs, I kind of want to take on a, a cheaper one uh, uh, next, you know. And perhaps it's going to be the suspended. Oh, what are you actually? Are you just? The old, good old regular steel coaster? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think we have that one. Oh, that that's this one. The uh, yeah, we could we could go with the and do the vertical roller coaster, or perhaps this one. But you know what? <laughs> we will decide that next time when we play more roller coaster tycoon.